Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks so much for joining me. Just wanted to give you a quick video about how to film yourself at home with just your phone. In fact, this whole video was filmed right on my phone. Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube page. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Just wanna take a few minutes in this video to explain how to film yourself at home using just your phone and the things that you have around your house. Let's get into it. So if you're filming yourself at any point, many of us start from a place where we've heard, go film by a window. You'll get beautiful, natural light, and you can look just like this. It's true, filming by a window is great and you get that natural light, but as you can see, it is bright early morning. It is 9 a.m. here in wonderful BC. The sun is blazing through my window right now. Super harsh, bright, hard light on my face. So what are some simple things that you can do to fix that? One simple trick you can do is use a shower curtain. Find a, a semi-transparent and opaque white one, one where you can like, if you hold your hand up to it, you can still see your hand through it. It's, it's, it's got that little bit of transparency to it. So I've quickly hung up my shower curtain up in front of myself over here to the left of me. Uh, and as you can see, this has made a huge difference. This was before. This is after. With just a simple white sheet or a shower curtain, you're able to change the entire atmosphere and look of your face. We went from that harsh, bright sunlight using the same window and the same sunlight, and now we've had this nice, diffused, soft, beautiful light coming in on my wonderful face. Another thing that you can have for super cheap uh, is to buy yourself a little stand to hold your phone on. I have this little newer smartphone holder, uh, super cheap on Amazon. You can move things around to position your camera up and down, side to side, a little thing to level. So if you just put it on a table, uh, you can get the composition that you want. So get something to put your camera on and hold your phone on. A great way to avoid double chin. There's a thing in photography and cinematography and videography, whatever you want to call it, uh, called the rule of thirds. Uh, your frame is sideways or horizontal uh, like this. What you want to do is imagine that your screen is divided into three sections. So what you're trying to do is keep your subject uh, either in one third of the frame or two thirds of the frame. So right now I'm kind of in one third of the frame, uh, but if I move in closer like this, my, my ginormous Polish head is now filling two thirds of the frame. You have one third over here, uh, which is empty negative space, uh, and I'm taking up two thirds of the frame. Back here where I was before, I'm now taking up one third of the frame. Uh, so that's typically a composition strategy. There's always an exception to the rule, uh, but it's just visually nice to see that rule of thirds applied. Try to maintain that composition. Some other tips and tricks, have the camera close to you because you need the microphones in the camera to pick up your voice well. Be in a quiet room, be in a space where you can control the sound. So a, your laundry room, a basement where kids are above you, uh, all not great places. Being in a public space as well uh, is not advisable as well. Try to find a quiet space that you can have uh, some alone time with your camera and use that space to record uh, your vlog, your tutorial, your whatever you're doing in that space. A couple more tips and tricks for when you're shooting B-roll things that you want to plug into your video to kind of transition between one shot to another. This, I'm shooting the shots of the little tripod, the light diffusion over here, I'm shooting shots in my office. Uh, you want to do nice, slow movements. You can have like a slider shot where you're kind of moving the camera side to side. You can have dolly ups, which you're kind of moving the camera 
up like this, but everything is nice and slow moving. Utilize the slow motion on your camera as well. Most new phones have slow motion, uh, which is great. It also helps you with the shaky hands when you use slow motion. Get soft light, so buy a shower curtain or a white sheet, hang it up in front of a window. That would be a first point to start. Number two, grab a little, little phone tripod, buy it from a local shop, buy it from Amazon, buy it from wherever you can, mount your camera somewhere. Number three, find a quiet space to do your vlogging in. Number four, when you're shooting footage, try to do nice slow movements and utilize slow motion when and if possible. So thanks so much for watching friends. We, I hope this helps you film better videos of yourself or your friends or your family or whatever it is you're trying to create. The most important thing is get out there, stay creative. Would love if you like and subscribe down below. Hit that little bell so you get notifications when new videos pop. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you later. Da 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 da